Hello and welcome. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I painted this small house for less than 200 bucks. So what you see me doing now is putting a bunch of primer on this house because it was caulked with uh, silicone non-paintable caulking and this is what happens when you do that. See how it beads? And this is what I had to use to fix that issue. So I had to put that wherever caulking was applied that's what I had to use and this is what you should be using it's paintable caulking so you don't have that issue so just keep that in mind so that uh, primer that I showed you it's 22 bucks at Home Depot and I used the whole gallon of it I literally had to caulk every single nook and cranny that caulking caught, uh, touched on this house I had to basically cover it up with that primer two or three layers sometimes so that's how that non-paintable caulking, how much paint that can be. So the price, less than 200 bucks. It took me two gallons of actual paint to paint this house. And the paint came from Sherwin-Williams. And the regular price on it is like a little bit over 60 bucks, but I get contractor pricing. So I got it for $35 each for each gallon. So that was $70. And then that gallon of primer, which I said was 22 bucks, that I bought from Home Depot, because the primer that I bought from Sherwin Williams didn't do as good of a job. So I guess it's a little bit more uh, for different applications. But they took it back even though it was opened. And this is what I did for my neighbor since I was painting. So her board, I sanded this down, and then I painted her uh, post here since it was bad. She's a nice lady, she's like 80 years old or something like that and and I decided to do something nice to kind of take my head off the whole primer issue since I wasn't very happy about it as you can probably imagine because I wasted a whole day correcting an issue that shouldn't even be there. But that's basically me using that uh, roller there and putting the primer all around the windows and you can see the spots where the butt joints are on the boards where they butt up to each other and I had to put two or three coats on that and then pretty much two or three coats on the trim around the windows. So anywhere that um, that caulking touched, I had to fix it. So that's what that is. I also had to use a gallon of white trim, which was about also 35 bucks. So if we had two gallons at 35 bucks for $70 of regular paint one gallon of uh, white trim another 35 so that's 105 bucks and the gallon of primer of 22 dollars we're looking at 127 dollars that it took me actually uh, to paint it and then obviously you need a good brush i use uh, purdy or worcester that's the, my favorite ones that i use and then a nap with a brush a roller and another 10 15 20 bucks so this is how that looks every single thing that got touched that gray color is what I started to uh, experiment with because that's what the customer picked out and that's what I had to do my AC mess is still there that's another whole different story for a different episode that my trim is still messed up over there so that's just how that looks so that's construction for you mistakes will happen and it all depends who you deal with and how they handle it and this guy here decided to go on a little I don't know what you call that, uh, adventure, so that's pretty cool. It's like when I was painting, I took a video of that. And this is me just basically painting it with a roller. I usually paint with a brush, but this one I just wanted to get finished and done. So the roller uh, works a little bit quicker and faster than a brush doing it the old fashioned way by hand, which I like actually painting. And I usually paint all my homes. So that's basically, it's a piece of cake. I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but we got a storm coming and this is uh, how it turned out. So it took me about a good, I would say four days to finish this, um, this house. It rained, so you can see a little bit of discoloration on the bottom because the, the rain was bouncing off the ground and hitting the bottom row of the siding. But that's not an issue because before I finish the house completely, that bottom two or three rows will see another coat of paint anyway, just to make that disappear. So that'll get cleaned up. So that's how that turned out. Um, not bad for less than 200 bucks. So it's um, the, the sheen on the paint is satin, and it's obviously an exterior um, chemical 
combination. You gotta make sure it's an exterior color. And it's a satin, so it's a little bit of a shine, just a little bit, because you guys know I do not like shiny anything. So this thing has got a, just a little hint of shine to it. And that's how that turned out. That's the view, so it's not bad. So if you can do this yourself, um, for less than 200 bucks, you can paint your own house. If the house was a little bit bigger, that house across the street took me about two and a half gallons, if I remember correctly. And then the same thing, a gallon of the trim white paint. So this is not bad. I like painting. And the hardy board here is very easy to paint. And if you get good paint from Sherwin-Williams or the upgraded one, the dark blue one from Home Depot, it'll also do a good job. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next week's episode where we're going to be painting the inside of the house. Take care guys.